Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Pop Tart Lee, and it feels like ages since I've just done this, but just an old-fashioned unboxing of Pops. Um, been back on Facebook Marketplace trying to fill some gaps that I've got in my Star Wars line. Oh, quickly I should mention, new cabinet, Mrs. T, she's giving me the green light, so we've got that sorted now, that's the new Star Wars one. See the picture of that on Instagram if you want to, but back to this. Been trying to fill some gaps on Star Wars Pops, more aliens or exclusives really. Is aliens the right word? Someone will pull me up on it if it's not, but creatures, creatures, I think that's probably a better word. Creatures, robots, that kind of thing. That I've missed out on for one reason or another. Um, found a seller on Facebook Marketplace. Prices weren't the best, but I went back and forward, managed to do a bundle deal, which I'm quite pleased with. And then it's taken the best part of two weeks to arrive. But this has come today um, in a black bag. I just feel like there's a box in here, but there feels like quite a lot of shaking. So I'm not sure what condition these are going to be in, but I got a good deal in the end anyway. The guy was trying to sell the pops £10 each, and in the end I've got three for 24 so technically he's gave me a pop for nothing. Uh, okay, yeah, it's in a box, so this isn't so bad. And we've got three box and they are all thankfully in bubble wrap. So the first one, the box on this one I knew in the picture wasn't the best. It's got quite a lot of sticky residue on the top. <laughs> Tasting clear. But I should be able to wipe that off. A slight bit of box damage on the back, but obviously I've got quite a lot of the solo collection now. I mean looking at the back, I think there's only four on the back here that I haven't got, but I haven't got a hand. I think well, I won't mind a hand. Quite fancy the one with goggles, but I've seen this one. Originally, this wasn't what I looked for, that's why I'm showing you first. But yeah, got the deal on that one. Let's get him out of the box and have a look. I would imagine he stays on the stand because he's one of the newer line of And I can already tell you he is, but we'll get him on the spinner. But he's cool. It was out, like I said, it was out this one with the goggles. I thought the actual common one was just a bit too basic, but I wanted one obviously to go next to my Chewy. Um, but he's really cool, he's got his like his gelée there, worker gloves on, they've got a little, some sort of, is that like a drink bottle or something on the back, he's got his pistol on the front, so there's some nice detail in that, um, from the start of the solo film, I think I've said it before in other videos, I'm a big fan of the solo film, I really hope they get to do more, I thought it was really good, especially with Disney Plus, fingers crossed they can, so that's the first one, anyway that's Solo 255, I mean, they'll be out of box anyway. I will still try and probably clean that off. I think nail polish remover or even as... And get it firm, give it a rub. That should sort of that. <laughs> that just sounds disgusting. We'll leave that one there. Okay. Next one was... This was something that I've wanted for a long time. A little bit of box damage that I didn't notice. But it is an original blue box Chewbacca. Love Chewbacca. Chewbacca and Vader, my two standout favourite characters in Star Wars. But I've never had the original Chewbacca. I kind of avoided going for it because the new ones are better. But I thought if I'm going to have a Chewbacca collection, which I technically have now, then this one is worth adding to the collection. And it is Star Wars number six. So I have got the Princess Leia and I've got a Greedo as well. Greedo is uh, where they've done the re release on the black box. But oh, and I've got a Stormtrooper as well. So I've got the Blue Box Stormtrooper, Blue Box Leia. Blue box, no, black box Greedo, and now blue box Chewy. You can see a little bit of damage on the box. I mean, it's not going to be kept in box, but I mean, these are from, this is nine years old. So actually, you know what, if that's the only ding on the box, if that's the only two dings on the box, <laughs> three dings on the, forget, there's lots of, there's dings on the box, but for nine years old, I'm quite happy with that. Let's get him out. You would imagine this one will definitely come off the face. And he does. So again, we'll get him on the spinner. I mean, obviously the new Chewbacca's are a lot more detailed. Really, really a lot more detailed. Um, this one almost looks a little bit like a, a dog face rather than a Chewbacca face. But he is cool. I do like him. And I think, 
think the only two back I haven't got now is the Hoff variety of this one, which I think will probably be a little bit out of my price range, but it's quite cool obviously with all Star Wars bobbleheads. But I'm pleased with that one. Like I said, these have cost me £20 for the free, so well £21 I think, yeah, 20, so it's about £7 a pop, which for a blue box Star Wars figure. I think it's a really good deal. I'm really happy with that one. And then the final one, and this is the one that kind of started the deal going. This box is, again, quite tatty, but it was more about getting the character, and it is the Grindon Empire Spy um, from the original Star Wars film. Um, this is one that I wanted, never got, and then a couple of weeks ago it turned up on Toys for a Pound, and I missed it. And then I've managed to get it as part of this deal. But like I said, the box is it's not great, but he is going to be out of box anyway. I mean, three years old, again. When you do these kind of deals, you can't expect to always get perfect pops. But as long as the actual pop itself is okay, then I will take that. Um, 2017, I would believe this will come off the stand. He does. That's brilliant straight away. Lovely detail on this one. It's fantastic. He's got the snout there. Um, really good goggles. He's got like the detonator in his hand. I don't know if is that the communication device. And then he's got his cloak. Um, but the level of detail there is really on the the eyes and the nose. That is very cool. So really glad to have that one in the collection. And I think I got a good deal. I mean, tell me if you think differently. I know. Inbox collectors would probably be a little bit disappointed with the state of them, but for me, it's all about the pop, and I'm happy with all three of those. So, there you go. Usual, let me know in the comments what you think. Have I said that already? I get so confused how many times I say the same thing. Like, comment, share, and also a little tiny bit of promotion for the new thing I'm doing. If you haven't already checked out my 1P Movie Challenge, that's going to be a weekly episode. I'm going to start doing that. Next one's out Sunday, so I shall keep it coming every Sunday. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that and whether that's something you're interested in. Fingers crossed you are because I'm enjoying doing that. I've done a couple so far and they're staggered ready to go. Nearly said like, comment, share again. I won't do that. But I have. Okay. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye for now.